talked about the feelings happy and sad. Today, we're going to talk about more feelings. This is Ethan. He likes to read books. And Ethan's friend, Danny, brought a new book to school. Would you like to read my new book? Danny asked. Ethan opened the book and looked at the pictures. He turned the next page and, wow! Part of the picture popped right up from the book. It was a pop-up book and he didn't even know it. Ethan is surprised. How does Ethan's face show that he is surprised? Let's look at his face. Do you notice anything? Yes, Ethan's mouth is open wide and his eyebrows are up and his eyes are wide open. Looking at someone's face is one way to tell how he or she feels. Another way to tell how someone is feeling is to focus attention on what is happening. Think about what happened in the story. Hmm. Ethan was looking at the pictures and he didn't know it was a pop-up book and one of the pages popped up. When you are surprised, you show that you did not know something was going to happen. Ethan didn't know that part of the picture would pop up in the book. Pretend you have a surprise. Show me how your face looks when you're surprised. Can you do that? Ooh, those are some good surprise faces. Okay, let's talk about another feeling. This is Tina. Suddenly, she hears a really loud noise. It's very loud. The noise keeps going and going. Tina doesn't know what it is. She doesn't like it. It hurts her ears. Look at Tina's face. Tina is feeling afraid. Another word for afraid is scared. What parts of Tina's face show that she feels scared? Right, her eyes are open wide, and her eyebrows are raised, and her mouth is open, and some teeth are showing. Pretend you're afraid. What kind of face would you make if you were afraid? Ooh, those are some good faces. What's happening in the story that Tina is feeling scared about? Do you have any ideas? What do you think she's scared about? Mm, those are some great ideas. She was scared because a loud noise was a fire alarm, but it wasn't a real fire. There are two ways to tell how other people feel. You can look at their faces for clues and you can focus attention on what is happening. Those are just a couple of the feelings we've learned about. Happy and sad, scared and surprised. There's lots of different feelings we feel. All right, you guys have a great week. Bye.